Yes. First and foremost, you, you, when I asked you which north you speak for, you say you speak for all of the north. Yes. Uh, there'll be huge questions on that because uh, uh, people will ask how the Northern Elders Forum was able to get the mandate of the whole of the north to be able to speak for them. There is a presumption Nobody there. gives groups mandates. Uh, th that's one. And then there... And and then there doesn't have the mandate there, there, of every there is an, There's another group, I mean, in the north, the Arawa Consultative Forum, which yes. is another very prominent group. Yes. We haven't heard them speak yet. We've had the Ar Arawa Youth Forum speak. They have had their own voices mm -hmm. um, heard. But there will be huge questions as to whether or not this will be carried uh, by groups in the north, and there are many groups in the north. Sure. So, so. But we know we know people listen to us. That's good enough for us. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you. People listen that to I everybody. Don't, yeah, but I'm I'm not going to. Tell a green you. is another kettle of fish. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you say that it, when, where a president a president that can unite the country is very important, and where he comes from is secondary, some people will say no. That it's the other way around. That a lot of people will be looking to where, uh, you know support is going to be coming from mm -hmm. for the next president. Mm -hmm. There will be huge questions as to you know, whether or not the North thinks that unity Excellent. and carrying people along is, is important enough. Uh, I, I mean, unity of this country is more important. I don't want to say it's more important than competency, <laughs> but <laughs> those sentiments are strong enough that it will seem that no matter what you do, doesn't, um, that, that is that, doesn't that reinforce the argument yes. that there must be a democratically elected person, transparently and sincerely and openly? He must be elected first and foremost. Nigerians must recognize that that person, wherever he comes from, was elected. No dispute about that. He was elected because Ni more Nigerians feel safe and secure and, and comfortable with him than anybody else, than, than any other candidate. And therefore, the elections must be, must be okay, Nigerians must be allowed to exercise their constitutional rights to elect a president. If we were to put side by side um, unity and security, because they're two different things, unity and security. No, they're not. Uh, Lack of unity creates no, problems for security. It this does. This is what we're dealing so with. So one affects the other. But I'm trying to say that if we were to prioritize, mm. because security is about how safe I feel. Sure. Unity is whether or not I feel a part of the country. I could be safe, sure. but I, I might not feel a part of this country. Yeah. So if we were to prioritize unity or security, which do you think takes precedence? I would say unite the country. but. You don't just unite the country in an abstract terms. You must give every Nigerian a sense of belonging. And the way you do that is you run a government that allow, that is inclusive, that uh, pays attention to the peculiarities of sections, uh, that, is, uh, that brings in all Nigerians into the process of governance, and that is available to all, all groups. That's yeah. how you do that. So you reinforce unity and you give security. All this irredentism you're saying is substantially because people feel sub substantially marginalized. They feel they are not part of this administration. They haven't been part of this administration. And therefore, they want out. The, the way to do this is to fix the, the, the leadership of the country. This time, elect somebody who would not behave like President Buhari does his, runs his administration. Mm. That will substantially address both the security issues and the, um, the, the national unity issue. I'm sorry, you would elevate where the person is from over competence. No, I elevate security. I must be alive first before you tell me and what And you don't do. think that a northerner, if he comes in again, can give you the security which no, you no, desire? No, no, no northerner today can be able to reset the fraud that Buhari has perpetrated. Just for being a northerner? No, 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 because they do not have, listen, and you they think, they don't know who that No, no northerner today has that capacity really? to face the Fulani Redentist movement. Take yeah. this from me. Well, uh, okay. That's why you see we the whole have of to the go country now. Mr. Anandu, we have to go now. I have to.